pistol designs and manufacturers proliferated throughout Europe and other countries, ever improving designs. Germany began to rearm and was one of the few military organizations to look to new pistol designs. As mentioned, the German military officially adopted the Walter P-38. Other Walter designs, the PP appeared in several calibers and the small but venerable PPK also saw military service. The Belgian FN model 1910 remained in service during the Second World War and was produced for Luftwaffe crews. The Polish VIS service pistol was also adopted by the Waffen SS through till 1944. The British Webley of 0.455 caliber used during the First World War was improved. The Mark IV led to the Enfield No. 2 Mark I revolver, which was chambered for 0.38 Smith and Wesson, and was widely used amongst Commonwealth forces. The Beretta Modello 1934, a fine compact pistol, was taken up as the Italian service pistol and grew to become a popular collector's item. Browning's HP 9mm pistol continued to be produced during the war. The Canadians also produced this weapon and a re-engineered version called the Ingalls High Power. The Czechoslovakian arms manufacturer produced the CZ VZ-38. It served with their military forces, but ultimately was unsuccessful. The United States retained the Colt M1911A1 in 45 ACP as their standard sidearm until late in the 20th century. Soviet forces utilized Browning's successful design to produce the Tokar FTT-33 as their standard pistol, replacing the Rera TT-30. It was more ruggedly designed, manufacture under license extended to many other countries, including China. Later in the 20th century, several European arms manufacturers became leaders in their marketplaces. While names like Sig, Heckler & Koch, Browning, Colt and Smith & Wesson retained their market share. Other nations like South Africa and Israel were forced to develop their own arms industries. Today, modern military sidearms are not dissimilar in nature, but perhaps in brand name. The United States eventually dropped the Colt 45 for the Beretta 94 model, a high-capacity 9mm weapon. That and the newer .40 inch being the dominant calibers. Manufacturers Glock, Heckler & Koch, Sigzauer and CZ, Smith & Wesson all offer semi-auto models in common calibers. All these models are manufactured to high standards and with modern ammunition they seldom jam or misfire. Properly maintained, they all have a long operational lifespan. The future of these weapons seems secure. Other areas of improvement will not be an engineering matter, but perhaps involve advanced electronics for safety or biometrics, so a sidearm can be keyed to just one person. The gun will not function for anyone else. Video camera and other targeting electronics are already in use. Perhaps caseless ammunition or guided projectiles will be the next breakthrough in small arms. <laughs>